Okay, before we actually get into the agenda items, we've got uh, Mr. Thad Wright is with us. He's with the complete count for census. Mr. Wright, would you like to come forward and make a comment, please? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Commissioners, distinguished guests, and uh, members of Lowndes County and Valdosta. Who's this? Is? Since uh, 1790, the U.S. Census has attempted to count everyone on American soil. Um, back then, of course, it was the uh, U.S. Marshals. In 1880, we started the Census Bureau to perform the task, and it has been under the uh, Department of Commerce since. Every 10 years, we do what effectively shapes our county and our future. And getting a complete and accurate count for 2020 is of the utmost importance. The U.S. federal government distributes $675 billion annually nationwide based off of proportionment between 330 million people. So for the average household here in Lowndes County, in the city of Aldesta, we are talking about $50,000 per household based off the U.S. Census over the decade. In 2010, our self-response rate was 78.8%. Um, there are three tracks in Lowndes County. They happen to be in Lowndes, uh, Valdosta themselves. Uh, west of 75, south of Patterson, and east of 75, north of Patterson, or my three hard to count um, areas. And when I say hard to count, uh, those are areas that reach over 25% non-response rate. Uh, we're working hard in the, within those communities. We're asking individuals within those communities, leaders within this room and throughout Lowndes County to help step up and get to these individuals. U.S. Census works off a concept of trusted voices. You guys understand the census, the citizens within our boundaries greater than I do. I cover Cook to Camden, so I have the southeast region pretty much. So it's incumbent on individuals within the county to actually step up to let people understand why. For example, there are 165 programs that are funded by the U.S. Census. Those include Head Start your senior citizen centers, your free reduced lunches, your Title I funding, the schools, any grants you apply for at the federal level, EMS response, vaccinations, you name it. If it came from the Fed, it got here because of the census. But with about one in five people not responding, that's a whole lot of money that we leave on the table. We have 116,000 uh, individuals within Lowndes County. That's... 40,000 plus households, 48,000 houses or dwellings. So we're talking about a portion of uh, $200 million that we potentially lose because individuals don't understand the importance of the census. For example, if I think about children, right, and I think they're pretty well counted, and I counted everyone in Lowndes County as a child under the premise that they were well-funded program, that's great. The problem is they don't buy houses, they don't start businesses, they don't drive on the roads. So it's about meeting the, making the numbers reflect the community, because the money follows the numbers, it doesn't necessarily follow the needs as it needs to be. So... <coughs> If we want Lowndes County to thrive over the next decade, we need to make sure we get a complete and accurate count. Um, we are currently hiring. We pay $15 an hour, uh, flexible schedules, and anyone who's interested can go on 2020census.gov slash jobs and apply today. We encourage everyone to. The premise for that is Individuals working within the community understand the community. They recognize the faces within the community. They are better at getting a response for our non-response follow-ups. March 12th, we will start sending out five mailers. We will um, do that through the mid-April period, and then we will 
send people door to door afterwards for non-response follow-up after that. So, <coughs> the most important thing I think people need to understand is one: the census itself is confidential. We are data statistics agency. We ask demographic information because it helps in socioeconomic planning. The questions themselves are pretty basic. Copies of the questionnaires are online for people to review. Um, there's nothing that is PII, and every census employee is sworn to lifetime of non-disclosure, carries with it five-year imprisonment or $250 million, in fines for unlawful disclosure. We're covered under Title 13, so individuals should understand the census is safe and it is confidential. We need to know how many people live here because we need to be able to plan the budget accordingly. Are there any questions for me? Mr. Is any questions? Mr. Wright? Do we have the data that he's shared with us no, I just went to the 2020census.gov, and it looks like there's a lot of information there. Most of what you've said can be found on that website. So Quick Facts will actually show you the information for Lowndes County and its municipalities. Um, Rome Response Outreach Area Map will allow you to see the actual census tracts. Uh, we have 30 tracts in Lowndes County. Three of them are hard to count which means 10% of the population lives within hard-to-reach areas. Um, that's a product of ROAM, Rome. And then a lot of the information as to why it's important will be 2020census.gov. <coughs> we have 1,100 PSAs. Uh, we have um, ways to engage. We have workbooks for you guys to actually employee and utilize to help get their effort out. So it's all there at 2020census.gov. Okay. Commissioner Orenstein, we started working with our local um, radio folks the end of last year so that they have started tailoring those PSAs to our community and they plan to start rolling them out shortly. They were waiting until after the first of the year so that it was more timely and so they'll, they'll ramp that up the closer we get to March. And then whenever we start to see how our numbers are coming in, they'll change that messaging to increase that urgency the closer we get to the July deadline. Sure. The count is door to door? Uh, no. So those five mailers, we will ask everyone to respond online. We prefer they do a self-response on their own accord. For those who haven't responded, then we'll follow up with the non-response follow-up door to door. We're also identifying How do you follow up? the door to door. Is that person the door to door? Is that in pairs? Does two people go or one person go? To we that? work in teams for security reasons. Good. Right. On some of those hard to count <clears throat> areas, people who might get the mailer but may not have either access or the ability to to reply online. We're working with some of our social services organizations to make sure that they have people in those offices that are asking those clients as they come through and that they're making that technology available to them there to try to capture some of those ahead of time. And, and to your point, Commissioner Weisenbaker, because people can be so leery of people knocking on their door. So the last time we went through this was, in, was 10 years ago, and our community and, and the world as a whole looked a lot different 10 years ago than it does today and so we're sensitive to that so we're trying to use that electronic method as much as possible I have one other uh, question um, it's my understanding that some uh, communities uh, slash municipalities are uh, putting kiosks within their uh, I guess common areas are there any specific requirements for us to do that as well therefore citizens can come here and participate online there are no limitations placed on those and there is nothing that mandates that you have to. But we highly encourage everyone who has the capability of maximizing the response rate to do so. So, so Commissioner Marshall, to your point, um, we have several public buildings around the community, um, including the libraries that have been identified. 
for us to have that technology available with on on those computers all they will do is link to the count and so so they're they're there specifically for that so we'll probably have one in the lobby of our building i know city hall's working on something like that the libraries of course we're going to see if south georgia medical center could do the same especially any areas that the public may tend to gather and wait you know if you're going to be there for a few minutes anyway then why not go ahead and, and knock it out because that it only takes how long if you just a few minutes to complete 10 questions 10 minutes right so so it's a quick thing to that's great yeah. yeah and i just wanted to make sure it was no specific requirements or that we would have to be aware of when we put them out there any limitations that's pretty much it there are no limitations on such uh still a confidentiality non-disclosure when when we actually deal with these but when we allow access to the computer for individuals to use it we're not breaching that gap at all so um you can pretty much provide computer kiosks throughout the county and we I, that would be a fantastic idea and we highly encourage it in many ways the Thanks. census does not use text or email to communicate um, with citizens so that's just that's one thing as we move forward and chris um, for your benefit um, in covering this you know with any large initiative you're always going to have fraud that has the potential to crop up so we want to also in making citizens comfortable regarding the confidentiality of the process also let them know that the census does not use text or email so that if those scams should come in they'll report them to local law enforcement and, and we won't have any issues there <clears throat> one last thing uh, our complete count committee meeting will be february 13th mr dukes will put out the information uh, on time and location but we encourage everyone to uh, get involved um, we also call upon a lot of the churches here in uh, valdosta especially downtown valdosta who can reach some of the hard to reach communities uh, looking at your numbers uh, one in three people live and at the poverty line um, those as well as the military are my two biggest concerns within the county so, so come on out february 13th okay. any other questions thank you mr wright thank, thank you very much appreciate you coming all right